it's Tony from Creative Chica Halls and today I have some friend mail to share with you all. I also have a small haul from Amazon that I forgot to put on my other video and then also I have something that I bought from Macari. Oh my gosh you guys. Oh wait till you see these. They're so stinking cute and I'm thinking that I got a good deal but who the heck knows on Macari right? So anyway, so the first one is from Donna Designs, and um, it's, a, it's such a pretty color. Look at that purple envelope. I just love it. Now, Donna is the type that anytime that she receives something, she sends a thank you card, and I need to do that as well. So I need to sit down and think of who I need to send some thank you cards to. <laughs> she is so sweet, though. Of um, She always sends a thank you card. I don't care for what it is or whatever. She is very sweet, sweet lady. If you don't know her, please go over and show her some love and tell her that Tony sent you over. So look how cute this card is. It says, thank you. Oh, I love it, Donna. Look at that little flower and the little teddy bear and the duck. It says, thank you. Hi, Tony. Thank you. You really are the sweetest. Okay, number one. Thank you so much for your kind and generous gift from your giveaway. I was so excited to win. Thank you for the opportunity to enter in your giveaway. Congrats on reaching 2K. And then number two, so happy I found you and your channel. So grateful for our friendship. Wish you were, wish you much success with your channel. Thank you so much. Again, hugs, X's and O's, Donna Designs. Well, you're welcome, Donna. And you won it fair and square, girl, because you were the first one that came up. And, um, you know, because like, Honestly, I used to do it like on my big computer and I don't even get on my big computer anymore because I really don't need to because I can get to my YouTube studio from there. <laughs> so anyway, besides that, whenever I did have my, um, whenever I would go onto the computer and I would sign in and then like, let's say if I left my thing open, then I was, uh, somebody was trying to hack my account constantly and I got fed up with that. So, yeah, so you got to be really careful on the computers, even though I do have a malware on there, but still, you just never know. So, you got to be careful all the time, all the time. Oh, and then this next one is from Stay Stace, guys, and if you don't know Stay Stace, please go over there and check her out. She is one of my new friends here on YouTube. I absolutely love her channel. She is an amazing crafter, guys, amazing. One of the many amazing crafters here on YouTube. So, yes. Oh, let me see if I can get in here. She sent me some snail mail. Okay. And while I'm on here, I need to do a little VR for my, for my girl, Cheek to Sheep, she, Cheap to Sheep, Miss Sharon. She is doing an ATC. You send her an ATC card, okay, guys? So go over there and check out her channel and maybe go over there and uh, join her challenge. Right offhand, I can't remember what she's giving away. She's giving something. Monetary? I can't remember. It's been like a couple weeks ago since I sent her in mine. And then on top of that, like I sent her, I sent her a um, memory decks card. I, th I probably sent her ATC card. And I forgot to put my info on the back. Can you imagine that, guys? <laughs> oh, well. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, my gosh. Look. It says grow. She made this beautiful little card, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Stace, I love it. Oh, my goodness. It's so pretty and dainty. I love it. Oh, look. She sent me some uh, die cuts. I love them. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love that one. That is so pretty. And then this one. And this one, and the little green. That green is pretty, maybe for Christmas, I'm thinking. And a gray and green, and it says handmade. Oh, how cute. I love those little stickers. It says, hi, Tony. Thanks so much for your awesome VR for the Wham Bam um, challenge. <clears throat> thank you. Oh, Wham Bam, thank you, ma'am. I just love that. Yes, ma'am, I do. Anyway, giveaway. Also, thanks so much for participating. Your lovely BATC was my first entry, and I appreciate that. Crafty, crafty wishes, Stace Stace. Well, you are so welcome, Stace. I, you know, I am trying to join challenges if I possibly can, and then I'm trying to do VRs as well. And, um, and I just, you know, I just think you are totally amazing, girl. I really, really do. 
Okay, so the next thing is from Amazon, and as you all know, I'm doing a scrapbook uh, for my uh, one of my younger grandsons. And he will soon be four in August. So I said, darn, I better get going, you know, because, like, um, you know, like, usually the mama would, do, you know, do the scrapbooks. But grandma, you know, like, I mean, I do have some time, but I don't have all the time in the world sometimes. Because I'm telling you, between my house, my husband, going here and there and doing YouTube, it takes up a lot of my time. But, but you know, honestly, I was thinking last night, you know, it's good to stay busy. It really, really is because it keeps my mind busy and I don't have to think about other things like the loss of our son and everything and it you know it just it just makes things you know keeping busy is best for me just to be sitting around and being upset about my son all the time you know because like there's not much I can do about that but you know just kind of you know I've been missing him and um you know I just I don't know it's just sad so anyway so I've been keeping myself busy, and I wanted to do um, the scrapbooking for my grandsons uh, because their mom is a registered nurse, and she's fairly busy. So I said, you know, this is something that I can do for my grandsons, and they always know that their grandma uh, did this for them because I absolutely love and adore all of my grandsons, okay? So um, here is some little baby boy stickers, and I bought this whole thing of stickers here. Uh, I hope they're not all the same, guys, because that's going to be ridiculous. But anyway, for like it was like $10. So I did buy some over there at Hobby Lobby recently, but I want to make sure that I have enough. And, um, you know, I will use them uh, gladly. And uh, who knows if I have another grandson. Who knows? <laughs> who knows if I may have another granddaughter. I don't know. Anyway, so um, this one says, baby, love, boy, mama's boy. Yes, they're mama's boy. Uh, butterfly kisses, angel face, and spit happens, and it's a boy. Then here's one that says all boy, and it, it's kind of got the green and the yellow, which is cute. And then there's some small ones in here. They must have gave me some extra or something. I don't know. I don't even know. I just saw the pack, and I said $10, yeah, because, you know, like I drive all the way, I, and I did. I went to Hobby Lobby and got some too, but... Um, you know, the price of gas and everything. So this is a double of that, which, you know, I will use that. And then this is a double of that one. Okay, and then here's some small ones here. Essentials. It's got the little teddy bear and stuff. Very cute. I got a couple of those. And then this one says baby boy. Sweet baby boy. And then a couple of ducks. I got some duck ones too, which I figured, you know, for his first bath and stuff would be cute. And then this one here is, oh, this is cute, little uh, onesie. Oh, that's adorable. And then this one here, yeah, it's for a boy. I was going to say, oh, I see some pink lace there, but, you know, then again, that's okay. So isn't that cute? Oh, my goodness. And then this one, the little, the little footsies. Okay, very, very cute. So this is from Amazon, guys. So, you know, like... If you're interested in that sort of thing, just go onto Amazon and click in, you know, baby boy stickers or baby stickers for boys or whatever. Okay. Okay. So the other day I was at Goodwill and I saw a Hello Kitty doll, but she had no clothes on. And I can't remember how much she cost, but I said, you know, I just didn't understand. You know, I never saw one before. And I said, what in the world, you know, uh, she had some kind of sticker on her belly and, and I don't know, I left it like a crazy person. And then I kind of regretted that I did, but then I thought, well, where am I going to get clothes to, you know, for that little, you know. Of course, I probably could have got some clothes from Walmart, you know, for another type of doll to put on it. But anyway, so I started looking in Macari, and they had the their vintage Hello Kitty dolls, okay. I don't know if they sell these. I've never seen them before, okay, and they're called vintage Hello Kitty. Well, one of them... I forget which one I saw. It said 1976. But mine does not have a date on it. And these are like in such excellent condition, guys. I just couldn't believe it. They're about 12 and a half inches high. And um, 
I, I don't know. They're absolutely darling, and I'm going to put them in my craft room. But I had to have them. They were half price. They wanted $120 for them. I said, oh, my God, I am not going to do that, right? So then they brought them down to $60. So I paid about $30 a piece. But to me, it's worth it because they're intact. They're, they're like brand new. Their, uh, their clothing, it, no stains, nothing. And like their, their faces and everything are absolutely beautiful. So let me head over here and I'll show you my little new Hello Kitties. Okay guys, so here are the Hello Kitties. They're so cute. I know, I know they're little for little girls, but oh my gosh, the, uh, you know, these are so cute and they're going in my craft room. I already got rid of something in there that I'm gonna put them in the area. So this one, this first one here is the one who got me because it's got sprinkles, like a donut, guys. I had to have that. So it's, oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. And then this one is a real girly frilly. And she's got the shoes to match. And they both have the shoes and just so cute. So if you will see, okay. As, whoa, well, anyway. You got to watch how they stand, but oh my gosh, they're so cute. So I can't wait to put them in there in my craft room. I absolutely love them. Absolutely adorable. So they do have some more on Macari, but I don't, I can't guarantee you that you're going to get the price that I did. Who knows? You might get a lower price, but some have clothes, some do not. And I wanted one that had all the clothes on it, you know, and it, they're just like brand new, just like if you were to go to Walmart and get them. But if anybody out there knows where, you know, if you've seen these in the store somewhere, let me know because I've, I have never seen them. So they're like 12 and a half inches tall. And um, let's see what they look like here on the back. And this is what they look like on the back. And they got like a little heart up here. Well, the one that I saw at um, Goodwill also had the heart missing as well. And I thought... Well, you know, is that right? I don't know. It, it was the same thing, okay? But it was kind of it was kind of dirty. But I'm sure it was probably worth something. So, and then here's this one around the back here. So very very cute. Oh my gosh, she has fishnet sock stockings on, guys. <laughs> okay, guys. So anyway, so oh my goodness, she's gonna fall. I know she's gonna fall. Anyway. So anyway, guys, I appreciate everybody for watching, and please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you all in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful 4th of July weekend, and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye, guys.